Hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Good. My name's Alan. I'm in the UK. I'm in Kent in England. Sorry? My name's Alan. I'm in England. I'm just outside of London in England. Oh, and my name is Andy Nassim Akram. It's the first time I'm using Camly app. Ah, okay. So, uh, what are you looking for from a Cambly? Uh, is it Akram? Uh, Do I call you Akram? Yeah, Akram. Okay, good. What can so? What would you like to do, Akram? Uh, like uh, on Cambly, I want to learn accent. With that, I want to work on my pronunciation, and also I want to work on my grammatical person. That's why I'm here. Okay. Yeah, that's what we can do. So. Um, this is your first time, isn't it? So what you can do, you, you have lots of choice on Cambly. You, we can just have free conversation like this if you want to. Um, or I can find, or your tutors can find actual lessons for you, or you can find lessons that interest you if you want to. So there's lots of freedom with, with Cambly. It's really up to you how you go about learning. Yeah. Well, it's my first class, so that's why I would like to talk about general discussion. But from the next time, I would go with the topic, with the lesson, but not today. Yeah, okay. That then. So, whereabouts are you, Akram? Sorry, I mean, sound is where, breaking. Where, where in the world are you? Where do you live? Oh, I mean, I'm from India. And are you, you, are you living in India? Yeah, exactly. Right now, I'm living in India. Where Whereabouts in India are you? Oh, in India, I'm living in Bihar. It's one of the state of India. I'm living there. Ah, okay. And so, tell me about yourself and your interests, Akram. What do you like to do? Uh, well, when I have free time, I like to talk with the people and improve my communication skill. And with that, I also like to play cricket. Like, you know, I'm from India, so Indian people... I uh, have interest in cricket, so same here. I also have interest in playing cricket. I love speaking to Indians because I'm a huge cricket fan. Oh my god! <laughs> I play. I still play. I I, I work. Uh, I finish here. You you might be my last one. I finish here at ten o'clock, and then I'm off. I, I'm going to play cricket for the rest of the day. <laughs> so I mean, what's the time in your country? It is 20 past nine in the morning here. Oh. So I finish here at 10. I will then get to the ground for 11.30. We start at 12.30 and then that's it for the day, playing cricket. Okay, sir. Uh, like, uh, what can I do if I want to sound like American or if I want to sound like, uh, like you know, British people? So the accent, it's very difficult. It's very, very difficult to... The accent will come with lots and lots and lots of practice. Um, the best thing to do is, first of all, just to practice the language and speaking, and then the accent will come with practice. You can't teach an accent, really. We, we can teach pronunciation of words, and then the accent will come. Oh, so yeah. go on. Yeah, you speak. I mean, sorry. Go on. Continue. Continue. Yeah. I was saying that, like you know, one of my friend told me that if I want to learn American accent, then it would be perfect if I talk with the American or in the same way. If I want to learn a British accent, then it would be perfect to talk with the people from Britain. So you know, that's why I'm here. I mean, I like yeah. But because you'll hear you'll hear us speaking. Um, yeah. If you there's there's a big difference between American English and UK English as well. So we'll use different words than Americans would for certain things. So um, Americans, for example, would use the word garbage or trash, whereas we would use rubbish or litter. Oh. Things like that. Um, and things like spellings are different as well. So um, if, for example, the word organize, they would spell it with a Z. We would spell it with an S. 
Oh, that's so I like sometimes when I search organize on the Google, I see S and sometimes I see Z. So that's why I become confused. Yeah. So the Z would be American. The S is English okay. or UK English. So there's oh, there's there's quite a few differences. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, it was the confusion that I was having for the long time. But today, like, you know, I overcame this confusion. <laughs> yeah 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 so it's, it's up to you how who you i mean it's good for both you you hear both both accents or you could just pick the the british or just the the americans it's there's a lot of tutors on cambly for you to choose from so it'll be entirely entirely up to you um you want it what, what do you want to learn you just want to learn sort of for free conversation or do you want it for business or work or anything like that uh, like, uh, I mean, I want to have idea regarding business, like, you know, world uh, trade and like, you know, I, I mean, I want to know about different parts of the world. Like, I cannot travel to different parts of the world right now because I'm a student, I'm doing study. But if I talk with the people from different parts of the world, I can get to know about their, you know, country, their place. So, yeah, I mean. Yeah, this is another reason I do this job. It's really interesting for me to speak to different people from around the world. So, um, yeah, you're you're very much. You're very much like me, so let's have a bit. Let's have a bit of a practice then. So, tell me about your ambitions. What's your ambitions for the future? Like my ambition, uh, I want to be a successful man. Like, uh, I mean, I want to be a civil servant in India because, like, you know, it uh, it has huge respect in India when a person become uh, civil. Like, you know, when a person becomes civil servant, he gets. A lot of respect in society so i want to be the part of civil service okay and what that's a very good explanation as well and very clear language um, i understood perfectly what you're saying so what part of the civil service interests you the most akram uh, well in india like you know the highest uh, like you know i mean everyone likes uh, to get highest position in civil service so I mean, uh, like what inspires me most is IS officer in India. Indian civil service, like it's the highest ranking, you know, like position. So what, yeah, but what part of the civil service? So in the UK, the civil service has, uh, is, is huge. So you civil service includes working in prisons is one or is any, anything that basically works for the government, um, is is a civil service position is that the same in india yeah i mean yeah i mean that's same in india because like you know uh, every country has same kind of administration and to run the administration we have same kind of system like you know police and CBI. yeah like in yeah. india we have cbi so in the same way in america there is a fbi so yeah i mean sometimes like you know or oh, there can be difference in what but the bot has same work to do uh huh. And how are you going to get into the civil service? What's your plan for for getting a job in the civil service? Uh, well, at a first, I have to go through graduation, and after I will be done with my graduation, then I will start preparing for the UPSC UPSC examination. And if I crack this examination, then I will be able to get uh, a position in in you know in civil servant. I like the language there. If I crack this exam, really nice. Like that. Good. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, um, are you studying right now towards this? Yeah, I'm starting right now. Like, uh, I mean, previous year I passed my 12th standard and this year I'm uh, like, you know, I'm doing my graduation. I'm doing BSc from mathematics. Like uh, I have interest in mathematics. So that's why I prefer to go with mathematics and to BSc from mathematics and it's my graduation. When I was uh, graduation i will start preparing for the UPSC examination and how how um explain to me what you need to do with this with this exam so is it is it a course do you have to study a course for this exam for civil service uh, uh, the people in india who want to be who want to be part of civil service most of them start preparing uh, for this examination since their childhood like uh, if i wanted to be an IS officer then i should have been preparing uh, from ninth or tenth standard then uh, then there would have been more probability that i could get a position i could get uh, you know i uh, i could get uh, i mean i could be an officer 
it's like that i mean it is being said but it depends on how much effort i give uh-huh and so 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 you're just beginning to prepare for this now will this take will this take you will it take you months will it take you years yeah i mean it's not take year but it's not like i will start i mean i have been i have been preparing for the long time but uh, uh, not focusing mainly on upc right now i mean i mean i am mainly focusing on my graduation yeah but of course with that, uh, with that i'm also preparing for uh, for that examination that i'm going to appear later in the future do you do you have an idea of when you might take this exam uh, sorry do you have an idea of when you might take this exam Sorry, I, I I didn't catch your point. Um, so this exam that you're preparing for after your graduation, do you know when you might take it? Which year you might yeah, take yeah, it? I, exactly, I, I know that. That's what I'm preparing. I mean, like if I'm preparing for some examination, I must have idea regarding that examination. So exactly, I know about that. Yeah, when? when uh, tell me when you think you're going to take this exam. Like, uh, I mean, when I will be done with my graduation, after graduation, just uh, uh, after one year, when I will be done with my graduation, I will be sitting in the examination. It's ah, like okay. So when when do you finish your graduation? Is that this year? No, not like that. I mean, still I have three years to complete my graduation. Ah, okay. So therefore, this the other exam for the civil service, you will sit in four years' time? Yeah. Like yeah. That. Okay. Uh, okay. Sir, so how? Go on. Sorry. Uh, I was saying that when I like you know sometimes when I like you know sometimes when I pronounce it, pronounce any word in a wrong way, then guide me at that point. Absolutely, I I will, but I haven't heard anything incorrectly yet. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you do. You're doing well. So. Okay, so I know about you now. You're going to sit this exam in four years' time. You're graduating with uh, your mathematics degree in in three years' time. What do you like to do to relax and to have fun? Uh, like, uh, I mean, well, you know, I like to spend my time on the cell phone, you know. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean. Today, like, you know, most of the people who want to have fun, they basically, they like to play a game. They like to spend their time on the cell phone. So same here. I mean, I do the same thing. What What do you like to do on your phone? What games do you play? Like, uh, you know, like other, I don't like, you know, like other people, I don't like to play Free Fire and, and PUBG. I mean, I like to watch an all as well video, you know, sci in like uh, science fiction videos and Hollywood movies. You know, this sort of thing. I like to do that. Ah, so what sort of movies do you like? Tell me about a, a movie that you like. One of your favorite films. Well, actually, I mean, I watch it like, you know, I watch most of the movies, but I don't remember the name. But I can name a few of the movies that I remember. Like, uh, do you know about Ant-Man? 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 Yeah. Uh, no, go on. Tell me about Ant-Man. Uh, like, uh, I mean, it, you know, it, it's a scientific movie. It's, it tells us about quantum theory. So I have seen that movie. And with that, I have also seen uh, a Hollywood movie that is Spartan. Spartan. Uh, have you seen that Spartan movie? I haven't. Spartan? No, I, I know of it, though. I've heard of it, but I, I haven't seen it. Uh, well, tell I me why I should watch it. This is what. Tell me why I should watch Spartan. Yeah, I mean, like, you know is really uh, an inspiring movie like you know there was uh, like you know there were soldier of 300 people okay but still they fought i mean they fought for their right they fought for their land and water uh, uh to the soldier which had more than uh, like you know which had more than lakhs you know lakhs of people more than millions of people but you know only you know like uh, like you know there were fight between two people there was a group of there there was a group of spartan and on the other hand, there were a group of uh, a soldier which had more than lakhs or millions of soldiers. But still, Spartan won uh, only by containing 300 soldiers. There was some lovely language there, Akram. You, it was an inspiring movie, which I really liked. And then when you was explaining, you said on the 
and which is a really good way of of looking at two points of we're out of time Akram but if you want to catch me again give me a call okay well done okay speak